Welcome back, y'all, to the Muses and Unsuppressed episode three. Yes, I can't believe it. We're still here. <laughs> we are. It was not easy to still be here, but we are here. I'm just yes, gonna say that. Especially as a neuro spicy couple. Um, <laughs> you know, it has to be some sense of like pleasure involved or urgency in order for me to continue to do something. So for me, it's funny and it's healing. I mean, we talk every fucking day. We do. So it's like to show up in a way where we're doing it to put it out there. It's a little different than just, you know, laying in the bed, you know what I'm saying, in our little pajamas and just talking about shit. No, I mean, we, we can keep a little bit for ourselves. We ain't got to get all that. But we have been getting such great feedback on the first two episodes. I'm so glad we dropped two episodes in one week. I'm glad we did, too. I know people last week was probably like, <laughs> what an episode at? But technically, we dropped two, the first two episodes in the first week. But yeah, people are excited about it. I honestly didn't even think it would be the way that it was. I mean, I didn't have any expectations. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I don't really like to do that to myself. You know, if I if I feel like this is, I mean, if it wasn't for Aaliyah, our daughter, mm -hmm. we wouldn't be here. She's been begging us to do a podcast amongst a few of our friends. You know, we can get kind of Aquarius talkative <laughs> in events, you know, when we get to drinking. Speaking of drinking. Hold on. Sippy sip sip. You got some lipstick on my mug. But guys, look at this fuck you pay me mug. Mm -hmm. oh, so good. Ooh, yes. Drinking my gin. I know we sell that in black as well. So make sure y'all check out our website, metamuse.la. Yep. And we got some more merch restocked. As you can see, baby girl is wearing the fuck you pay me salmon crew neck. We go all the way up to 3X. So get it before it's sold out again. That will be like the the second time that actual colorway got sold out. Definitely. I'm Definitely. loving it, man. Y'all keeping us busy with these merch sales, bro. We don't have to figure something out. <laughs> <laughs> y'all keeping us busy, but I am not complaining. Thank y'all so much for the love and the support. Absolutely. It feels good, girl. I thought y'all forgot about me, child. It's been a minute. Anyway, what's going on this week? How you feel? How you felt as far as like really feel? Tired. It's probably the best <laughs> way to explain how I've been feeling. Um, especially with all the naps that I've been taking. Yeah, but mm -hmm. you fell asleep on me today. I did. I was trying so hard just to nodding, but yeah, I would say tired. But a good tired. Like tired from like, you know what I'm saying, been working all day. Yeah. But not like tired, like, oh man, you know, just being lazy, but definitely tired. Yeah, I get that. I get that. What about you, lovely? I've been exhausted. Um, came home this week. So besides bloating and I have uh, PMDD and all the good stuff that goes along with being a woman. And it sucks. So I am here and I'm tired and I'm grateful. That's a good word, grateful. Throw that in there. Um, but other than that, I just, I really can't wait to get in like a nice warm bath and then my nice warm bed. <laughs> You're not excited about Halloween? You know, Halloween was different last year than it is this year. It was you know, I don't, different. what is it? I think the just earth was different. Like, there's so much going on, bro. I'm so mentally exhausted. It's I'm like literally, like, literally, what was that like two days ago? We were just like, bruh, Aliyah's like, what are you guys doing? Halloween's Tuesday. Don't We're get me like, wrong. Wait a minute. We got the outfits. We're going to make it work. But am I super excited? I'll probably be excited when I put the outfit on. Right. By the time this episode drops, most likely we didn't already possibly post it, drop post it. Yeah. So we got a few outfits in mind. But today, speaking of outfits, Aaliyah, again, our daughter, posted um, her outfit with her beautiful girlfriend. And they were JT and Uzi Vert mm -hmm. for Halloween. And she was so nervous to post it. But we like, even Asia, our other daughter, we snatched the phone, made her post it. And come to find out, like, JT reshared it, commented, followed her, made it her profile photo on fucking Facebook, Twitter and retweeted Facebook. Retweeted like, her. I, like, I was like, oh, thing. I love JT so much. Y'all, we saw JT at um, Beyonce Renaissance concert. And we were there at L.A. for her birthday. She was the only quote unquote celebrity that took the time to like say hi. Like she actually yeah, she was waved. so cool. So cool. Yeah, shout out to that. JT. Shout out to real Florida girls. Mm -mm. We Florida girls for real. So mm -mm. shout out to JT. JT in the tuna. Who does Jan getting? 
Jen, you know? Jen making me sin. Okay, so <laughs> it's a lot going on. We might as well talk about what's happening. Um, y'all know we stay away from anything political um, for the most part. Yeah. Um, just mentally, it's been a lot for me since 2020 to even speak on anything politically um, that's been happening. But I know that everyone's like being pulled and, you know, called and my heart uh, especially goes out to all, all the civilians who are being impacted by what's going on. Just, it's like, just ugh, all over the world. Cause mm-hmm. I'm not even talking about Palestine. I'm talking about Congo. I'm talking about Sudan. I'm talking about America. I'm talking about everywhere. Okay. Cause it ain't just one. I, y'all better research the Congo, but that's all I'm gonna say. And, and the same hands that's got his hands in all the other gen- genocides is the same one that's got his hands in the ones in the Congo. So we got to stay protected y'all. We got to send, you know, our good vibes, good energy, good prayers and, and use our, magic and our voices to, uh, you know, do as much as we can. All right, I got a question. Let's just jump right into it. I've seen this question on Twitter mm-hmm. and I wanted to ask you. Oh, here you I go. Kept you it to myself. Twitter questions, You know, we were talking child. about this at night. Oh, Lord. So I kept it. I wanted to ask you so bad last night. We'll be having pillow talk. If a sugar mama uh-huh. was hiring. Hiring? Hiring. She's taking applications, right? For the ladies? For the, for the ladies. Mm-hmm. The sugar mama was hiring, right? Uh-huh. Would you accept it, and how much would it take for you to have an indecent proposal? It depends heavily on the sugar mama. There's no more details I can get about the sugar mama. She just a random-ass sugar mama? Well, does it matter if the... Yes. If I have to physically do anything with my body and exchange bodily fluids with another person, I need to know more about who that person is that I'm doing that with. I don't care how old you are. She's an older woman. Okay. And is she black? She's she a black. Mixed? She a black older woman. She's a woman of color. Okay. Or a white woman. She's a white kind. She got the coin. The co- she's green. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're talking billionaire status. Okay. So she, 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 you know what I'm saying? She, she hits you up in the DMs or whatever, or she bought a piece of artwork. Cause see, let me explain something to you. You don't try to holler at us in DMs. Don't do that. Buy some arts. I'm talking original. You want to get my attention? <laughs> Buy some paintings. What would you say? That's how, that's how you get my attention. Well, what is I, I need to know what she's asking for in exchange? Are because you know some sugar mamas just want quality time. Some of them just you You're know such an Aquarius. <laughs> what, for real, I need to know. You know what the fuck a sugar mama is. You know what Man, she wants. All money and good money. We ain't talking about that right now. Come on, Aquarius, just keep it general. All it, things are good. <laughs> all things work out in your favor. It expands your territory and it fucking works out for your good. So just I would do it. Twice a month. How much? Money. And what is it? I will strap her. Uh, no. Well, that was the first instinct. Go with it. Yeah, I would do that. And she would need to fund our lifestyle. How? Because it's already funded. How? Okay, so... She need to put us up in a house. Basically, anything we desire, wherever we want to go, no questions asked. No matter how many homes we want, how many cars we want, fund our lifestyle. If we decide today we want to do something else, we want to get something else, fund it. <laughs> fund it. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, what about you? So you're not going to give me a money, a, a dollar amount? I need a dollar amount. She's looking at you like, okay, what is it going to take? Fund it can mean many things. Exactly. There's no limit. People's idea there of is, funding is different. There's no cap. I need to know that there's no limit. No preset spending limit. That's what I need. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so priceless. It's exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Because I'm, I'm, I'm going to put it down. You're going to fall in love. I know that's right. You can't put it down on her like that now. You I mean, come on. I want to find my last I want to be, I want her to feel like she's getting it good. When really, girl, you just getting the basic. Give her the basic. That's what I'm trying to say. That's what I said. I'll show you. Get the basic. Exactly. Because. What about you? 
What are you willing to do for some coins? Are you going to give it up? She's older, and I'm not really in a space in my marriage where I feel the need to open it. You know, you're like 25 women in one. Um, So it would be expensive. She would have to, like, fund the legacy. <laughs> <laughs> she would have to help me fund the legacy. You, you, you would have to do more and much more mm -hmm. than my goals are even in the next five years. Like, for me to, to have a little side quest <laughs> in this journey, mm -hmm. I'm going to need you to make it a, a treasure chest full worth of my time and effort. And story. If you want to be a part of the story, listen, sex is... That's magic. That's that's spiritual. That is. That's an exchange and, of and energy. And I, I don't just share my magic with, with anyone, especially now. I don't... Right, but the coins is talking. The green is endless. So what are you going to do in exchange? She said, okay, that's fine. You want me to fund your legacy? I got you. What you giving me? I'll give her some hair and, and, some, and, a, little, and a little plastic. Oh. A, little, a little silicone. I'm going to put that mouth on her. Okay. You know, I, I am skilled. I'm skilled. You are. And I have, like, extremely large hands, so maybe that could help as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, but other than that, I don't... No one can take your place, so I don't really feel intimidated or anything. I just... Damn. It, it's a price for everything, but I just don't see the price. I don't see the price. Right. Now, if it's a situation where it's like, you know, she cool, like, you know what I'm saying? We have a good time then, you know what I mean? I have to see the price. It's still, it's still got to make sense uh, financially. I mean, I'm talking about completely debt free, completely financially secure. I'm talking to any time I want to travel and I'm six foot one. I need first class. I need leg room. Okay. That's how I, I travel on I my might, own. I might need a private jet vacation. I don't. <laughs> She would have to want me, baby, because it's going to be expensive. Well, they already they already be giving you the eyes. They're going to have to give me the check. <laughs> I will sign on the dotted line. <laughs> Fuck the eyes. Say less. <laughs> so any sugar mamas out there that uh, think you can meet the requirements, yeah. you know what to do. All right. So if they're like really established women, who's your, who's your top MILF? Who's your top a Why she got to be a MILF? Or if she's not a MILF, she okay. might not be a mom. Maybe she's just a very attractive older woman. Very attractive Top older three. woman. Top three. Oh, that I would do this with? Yeah. Just just for GP. Hmm. Who would it be? Hmm. Let me think. Who's old? What you consider <laughs> old? Like 60? I would say 10 years, 10, 10, 10 years older than you. Anybody that's like 10 years older than you. That means they're in their 40s. That's not old. Well, older than you. Okay. 10 to 20 years, maybe. Well, you already know. Gabrielle Union, she can fund my lifestyle. <laughs> for sure. I know you love her. Yes. Um, hmm. <laughs> two more. Two more. Two more. Let me see. Let me make it, maybe let me make it a little seasoned. Uh What's her name? <laughs> Dang it. What is her name? Angela Bassett. For sure. Yeah, Angela we Bassett. We seen her as well at uh, Renaissance. She definitely did. She was power walking though. She didn't have time to see her. She definitely didn't. Damn, she um, good. And what's her name? What's her name? She is... What's she playing? On a reality show. D-list. Hello. <laughs> Disrespectful. Okay, maybe she's not D-list. You're right. You're right. Nene? No. Um, she's on a rea what reality show? What's her name? Potomac? Yes. Oh, Karen? <laughs> the Grand Dame. I'll kick your ass right the fuck now. <laughs> Bitch, that's my mama. I don't see a mother when I see her. No. <laughs> the answer to that is no. Okay. Really? Just make it a little season. Oh. I just want to throw someone old in there. Who else? Okay. My top three is Queen Latifah. Interesting. That girl. Her hair alone. Next. Um, older woman, Angela Bassett. I'm with you mm. on that one. Oh, so we can share. Fuck with the wrong witch. 
and Missy Elliott. Okay. She got a lot of houses and they all paid off. And she's talented. Oof. Missy girl. <laughs> okay. You might want to go in the studio and make some beats. <laughs> <laughs> Missy can get it. If you okay. work it, let me work it. Put my thing down to put them both it. <laughs> it's your for me uh-uh, that is not the... what they say I knew me. you had to get it out don't but that's not me. what they don't say tell me. <laughs> if you had to give up two you can keep one has to go alright would it be you can never receive head you can never give head or you can never kiss. I can never give head, receive head, or kiss. And I got to get one to go. One has to go, two you can keep. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, you have such a beautiful mouth. <laughs> <laughs> but he got to go. <laughs> he got to go. Which one? Your mouth. I want them other lips. So kissing, you give up kissing. Yeah. It'd be sad. <laughs> but it has to go. <laughs> you? If you can give up mm-hmm. one thing out of the three, giving head, getting head, or kissing me, what would it be? Kissing you is... Hey, all the hey, thinking of. Kissing, kissing you gotta go. <laughs> go. go. <laughs> I gotta go. Okay. For sure. For sure. No, I need that pussy. <laughs> I need that punani. Okay. Punani. I got a question for you. What a player. Would you ever not go down on a woman again? Or bump pocketbooks? I Are you go. a woman? Of course. Who else? I mean, I don't know. You just put me in up with a sugar mama. I don't know. Uh, um... Absolutely not. So one of them have to go. Wait, give. Oh, wait, you said go down. What is that? Like, I'm giving it, right? So, so no, 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 no. Would you rather me go down on you mm-hmm. or bump pocketbooks? What's it going to be? I'm going to keep the pocketbooks. It's only because it's. It is it's magical. magical. And can we talk about that? <laughs> Because there's some discourse online, online mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that women find it, or I shouldn't say women, people with vulvas uh-huh. find it difficult to scissor or trib. Mm-hmm. And I'm I'm learning through social media that that seems to be a very difficult thing to accomplish in a sapphic relationship. And I want you to know there is there's a difference. A difference. I think it, I think the main thing is the position of both vaginas. Mm-hmm. And and there is no such thing as the same vagina. Everyone has a different pocketbook. We'll call it pocketbook. Everyone has a different one. Some I just learned are called innies and some are called outies. Like a belly button? Yes. I did not know that. And correct me if I'm wrong. Fam, Muse Mafia, correct me if I'm wrong. If you have an any, from my understanding, that means that your um, labia minora, Mm -hmm. which aren't the lips on the outside, but the, maybe it is the lips on the outside, I don't fucking know. But I think it's the lips on the inside, the the labia minora, Mm -hmm. that um, are either showing, which makes you an Audi, or they're tucked inside of your labia majora, which makes you an any. So I think the, 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 the conversation is like, when women have any's, they seem to be more difficult to bump coochies or trib is mm-hmm. what we'll call it. We call it tribbing, scissoring, you know, or however y'all do it. <laughs> um, they're saying it's because of that. Here's my solution. If you are trying to find your girl's situation and you want to try to get that trib game really good and you want to feel all her innards, 
Open it, motherfucker. That's all you gotta I was, do. I was just about to say that. I, I still think a major part of it, because I've never been able to accomplish it with anyone that I've ever been with besides you, but a big, <laughs> a big thing is the position of the vagina. But then even at that, let's say the setup is right and it works, but you just, like you said, maybe the lips are in the way. Open it up, baby. It ain't no different than Open heteros- it up. I need, exactly. I need, I, need to see that, I need to feel that clitoris. Open Absolutely. It up. So I that doing mine. Absolutely. Y'all, it's a, it's a shame, but unfortunately, we live in a patriarchal society. They're not mm-hmm. going to teach women about their bodies for real. That's why you got your aunties. We here. Do y'all know that the clitoris has over 8,000 nerve endings? The penis only has four. We are double equipped. That's why for that's pleasure, amazing. like it's so amazing. So if you're if you're a if you're a woman loving woman and you hear anyone else trying to say, well, how y'all feel it and what what how y'all have sex, how you do it, how you fuck, how you have sex, read a book. Um, women have double the amount of pleasure. Mm-hmm. I know that's not what most cishet men are used to mm-hmm. because they've been taught to please themselves. They don't even know how to find the clit. Um, which is why all your bitches are coming to us. Exactly. So this is also for you guys, for cishet men listening to women who who like women, the clitoris has over 8,000 nerve endings, bro. It never ends. You could blow her mind, nigga. <laughs> you could literally blow ends. her mind just by not, put yourself to the back burner for just four to seven minutes. Please the clitoris. Half the work's done. It's already w- ready and willing and able. Mm-hmm. After that, mm-hmm. okay, moving on. I hate the way too that, like the standard way of sciss- of scissoring or trimming, like you know, Is you lay, like this? yeah, like you lay and intern like that. That no, works for some people, I'm sure. It works stupid. for some people. Mm-hmm. That's why that, I said it's everybody's so much different. work that goes into that. Like no, well, it depends on who you're doing it with. Maybe some people are sitting a little higher. They clip is a little lower. Some people have a, a have a more protruding and then so, when so, it you're, gets so you're leaning back and like no. however that motherfucker work, baby. We gonna figure this out. Y'all giving up too? Listen, y'all giving up too quick. I'm seeing the TikToks. I'm, I'm on lesbian TikTok and it's not looking good for y'all. You're showing your age. Open that motherfucker up and. I and know. Explore the pleasures that that wait within. That's true. All right. The well, tripping seems to be like a really difficult uh, thing for lesbians. I'm learning. You know, it was never a go to for me in any of my, you know, past experiences. Like, it was always uh, something I wanted to be able to achieve. Only because I was like, oh my god, how amazing it would be if I could just like sit on top of her and just like make it happen but it, it never did and it was just like okay so that's not a go-to so i guess you just sit here sh- strap each other give each other head or whatever but you, how did you like that though the strapping in the, and just the head basic really yeah i'm not really you know you know what i'm saying you know you, you know you have those t- touch me not studs or you know the ones that like to pretend that like you know oh i don't like this being done to me and you know this is my persona so this is what i have to do like the roles that they feel obligated to perform in a lesbian relationship and it's like <laughs> you don't have to be like that like you're kind of lame but but yeah it was never a thing but i always fantasized about that probably from the books that i read i was like damn mm-hmm. imagine being able to just have sex like that like i'm just on top and i'm just you know I used to read them thug books in middle school. I did. And it's like, imagine not having to do that with a strap. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, you know, it just... Where you both fell in. Yeah. Yeah. So it's something about the click, the click action. It's just... I don't understand. It's that vulva to vulva meat. I meat, know. And then meat, that, meat. that heat and then the liquids just combining and then... And you're looking at each other and you just fucking finding your groove and then it's just mm-hmm. getting wetter and louder. I know. And then you got to, like, stop in between because you're like, no way, I don't want to... I know, just don't come, don't come yet. <laughs> I'm so sorry for everyone who hasn't experienced that, but please get on your Zooms um, if you would like specific lessons. Because I understand that, like, because you even said it, you didn't experience good, like, tribbing or bumping coochies when scissoring, I'll say scissoring, right, yeah. when you were before me. No, it was too technical. And it's like, bro, if I have to do all of this, it's not worth it. And neither are you, so move Damn. on. Well, I will say that, you know, there are some some women or I should say studs or masks, masculine presenting people that prefer not to be touched. And that's OK. I'm not going to I'm not going to shoot them down. You don't know what 
their preference is or what their upbringing was or what their experiences were to not wanting to be touched. Right. Well, no, I'm saying when I say to touch me, not they really not like that in the bedroom. It said other things. It's like you're just trying to portray this from just so your friends and everybody else could think that you're like that when really you're not. Oh, they was in other words, they was bottoms yeah, yes. in the bed. Yes. Yes. So speaking of strap. Strappy big strap. There's also a lot of talk about mm -hmm. lesbians and silicone penis. I mean, you can get the homophobic men that says, oh, why do y'all need a fake dick? You can't even feel it. And wait till you, excuse me, wait till you get the real thing. Or... Shut up, soft dick man. Or you get the whole, you know... Even from the lesbian community, it's it's awkward when you have to stop what you're doing and go buckle it up <laughs> and put it on and <laughs> wait for the warm up. <laughs> oh my God, y'all so stiff. Hold up, be right back. <laughs> okay. Let me attach my shit. <laughs> okay. Got the buckles. <laughs> oh shit, and the ding falling off. And <laughs> you got to put it inside. Okay, right. bitch, then you sleep. Do you slip out? Oh my Don't gosh, even know I when know. You slip out, you gotta get it it Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> and no, then you have to know ahead of time if that's something you're gonna do because you gotta make sure that bitch is clean. <laughs> oh no, for sure. Not just that. I mean, first of all, we gotta talk about it. A lot of women don't even like penetration. They don't even want that. I, personally, in my opinion, I feel like that's like a once every two year thing. If we gonna talk about us, I don't feel like we need it. I don't need that. Right. I feel you. I understand what you mean. I mean, and don't it's get like, me wrong. I've definitely slept with women before you that were like, come you to this strap. hotel room without that goddamn dick if you want to. Okay. Without that book bag. Okay. Where that book bag at? Mm -hmm. um, most of them were straight women. Yeah. Uh, well, that explains it. And I don't think a lot of guys are ready to hear that. I don't think they're ready to hear that. Right, because that. it's like when you compare both, you can say what you want to say about it being fake and all of that. Like she said, the clitoris has 8,000 nerves. And it's like in knowing that after you with your fucking penis come while you're fucking a woman and you can't take her hot, hot warm vagina and then you explode, you're limp after that. And she's still like, I can fucking keep going or nigga, I didn't even bust. Like, what about me? You like, oh, wait, hold on. I need a minute. Whereas with a strap, we can keep going and I can make you come over and over and over and over and over again without it stopping. It's going to stay the same length, same, same heat, same uh, length. It's not going to go limp. It's going to be the same hardness penetration. Yeah, so I there agree. is no comparison. So if they want to go to a female and get strapped and dick down for real and then come to you and let you get your rocks off, what you think they're going to do? It is what it is. Because the girls that I was strapping had niggas. They had boyfriends. In fact, their boyfriends, where I'm from, was warning them about me. I didn't come to them girls. They came to me. Every single one of them. Well, I came to you, so I understand. Baby, but you're not a, you're not a straight woman. You're and, right. And I'm those not. days are behind me. I don't, I don't fool around with straight women. But they were just for fun, and I was for fun. We knew what it was. Yeah. We knew what it was. It yeah. wasn't nothing serious. I wasn't in a relationship. She was. It is what it is. It she is what it is. She wanted what she wanted out of it, and you gave it to her. And, well, you know, women are diabolical. <laughs> women, <laughs> we was in the parking lot of this man apartments. Dang, he was not making the ends meet. And me. she was like bullying me. It wasn't even because people would look at me now on some old oh you some home wrecking ass bitch. No. No, right, not at all. Yeah, I always say whenever you're in a relationship with someone and, you know, your person cheats, never be mad at the person they cheated with because it's not their fault. It's actually the person that you're in a relationship with. Say that again. Because that's your, they broke the foundation. They broke, you know what I'm saying, the sacred bond that y'all had and stepped out of the relationship. It has nothing to do with the chick on the side or whoever it is on the side because they always going to be there. It's always going to be girls flirting, always going to be girls trying to fuck. It's <laughs> if the person that you're with is going to be leading into that or asking for that. For because real. if they do, then it's on you. It has nothing to do with the, the, the person on the side. For real. And I'm going to tell you. that. Exactly. And men don't have to hate lesbians. If you ate your bitch pussy. Right. Or take some tips from a lesbian. Literally. <laughs> or have a few dykes as your friends. 
Oh, we can teach you some things. You ain't got to be homophobic. Let me explain something to you. The, the, the most men that stay getting women, mm -hmm. they have lesbians in the fucking friend circle. Yeah. They're not homophobic. They're learning from women who know how to please other women. Right. It is is no such thing as like oh d d that women aren't out to get you. If you know how to please a woman, a, one thing about a woman is she will be loyal. Mm -hmm. But y'all not pleasing y'all women. That's the thing. And they and then you 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 need to look at your side eye if she going out with her girls all the time because somebody eating coochie in that group. That part. Moving on. <laughs> Tell you right now, these hoes eat coochie at the end of the night when they go out with their girls. <laughs> I think if you want to please a woman, and this goes for all women, trans women, biological women, however you want to fucking call it, if you consider yourself a woman, my personal opinion is when you want to please that woman, it's an all day thing. It's an, women are intellectual, women are emotional, women that's where it first is. Mm -hmm. It lies there first. Compliment her throughout the day. Send her, I've been thinking about you, notes, handwritten, texts, social media, whatever. Mm -hmm. I want to take you out. Please her first. Women are receptive. They need to receive. Mm -hmm. They need to receive. Not just your fucking dick or right. your strap. They need to receive. If I wanted to get my woman in the mood, right? It wouldn't take much because I know what to do. But <laughs> if I wanted to get my woman in the mood, I would do what she wants to do first throughout the day. Right. We're going to learn a dance routine. We're going to do the five, six, seven, eight, and we're going to fucking get it done. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? And, and I just think if more people took the time to listen Sometimes it's all it takes. That's that's foreplay in itself. I don't I don't think people like to listen no more. I think people are just in it to just get what they can get and move on to the next. I don't think unless that's unfortunate. unless you're looking to be in a long lasting relationship, if that's not what you're looking for, that's going to be the energy you're going to give that's, to each person that's you encounter. Crazy to me because when I wasn't married, I still knew how to fucking man. Maybe that's why they all was crazy. Maybe I was, maybe I was showing them a little bit too much. Attention. But but then also, like you said, because you are a woman, like who knows more about a woman other than another woman? So it's like, I just think if you upfront with women, and you you you, yeah, because some women not that just like you know what I'm saying I'm just here to fuck. That's I what I'm saying. I ain't here for all the other stuff. If you upfront with a woman, mm -hmm. and then you show her how you can be there for her, listen to her, um, court her. Mm -hmm. What's the word I'm looking for? Seduce her. If you can show those things without even having to touch her, you already got the draws. Right. She she can't wait till the end of the night to give them to you. Right. Shit, I mean, or in the morning. That part. Unless you with like a... What's that girl, Sharia? Who the sprinkle, sprinkle lady? <laughs> no, she need them bills paid. Some women need them bills paid. And hey, I had that too. You got to... <laughs> okay, you got to spread it. You got to spread it out. Shoot, come into the room and put the stacks on the table. What we doing? Oh, it well, ain't tricking if you got it. That's hey. all I'm saying. Women like to receive. That's all I'm saying. Receive time, receive money, receive conversation, okay. receive a listening ear. Okay, receive, receive the head. Get it all. Come on, y'all. Stop, okay. stop playing. Eat these bitches pussies. God damn. I know. If, like, especially you, if you come quick. God damn. I know. And you, but yeah, you want her to suck your fucking dirty ass dick. Let me, let me start talking so that we hate men, but they no, let me still say be dirty. I, no, because this is what I teach my kids. Because one of them like niggas and one of them don't. I was married to one, so I, I I understand the pattern recognition of being with men and the masculine. They sit on a toilet mm, mm, mm. and fucking shit a number of times a day with their dick swinging inside of that germ, virus, bacteria infested bowl. That's so nasty. Multiple times a day and you come home and you put that dick on your holes, tongue and tonsils. Yeah, boys are gross. They are. I had a brother. He was gross. I had one too. Oh my god, they're so disgusting. They are, and it's just like I used to be like, "What do these girls see in you?" Because boy, if they knew, men are gross. Just, just be clean, guys. S -s Masks, studs, be clean. Yes, I mean, I'm sure you have the clean guys out there, but I'm just saying, we're disgusting. we're we're not we're not anti men. It's just. It's, well, I'm not, I know I'm not 
not anti-man. I just feel like it's too it's too much research out where women are not orgasming. It's it, exactly, and, and the research is like, free. Yeah, it's literally, free. It's you can free. watch you can, videos. You can you can Google it. Even ever since I was a little girl watching Oprah, I can remember statistics of women with clitorises and vulvas not orgasming. At least well, no, fifty percent. That, that was a thing with you though, too, wasn't it? Oh, for sure. I slept with plenty of women before I was married with, to you because all I know is you it, guys weren't pleasing her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Never that. Maybe two percent of the time. That is sad. And you had a lot of sex. Come on, don't put me out there like that. You did. You put yourself out there. Don't put me out there. You, like you put yourself out there. I'm just saying. All I'm saying is. Women aren't men. I should say all I'm saying is men aren't the only ones who aren't out there pleasing women. A lot of y'all lesbians think you're doing a good job. You are. That's because they're watching stupid ass lesbian porn. Lesbian porn is whack too. It's not for us. That's why lesbian porn is for heterosexual cis het men. It's not for us. That is not how lesbians have sex. Stop the bullshit. That is not. It's not how we have sex. In fact, I don't even watch lesbian porn. I haven't. Lesbian porn does lesbian sex so. Bad, nigga. It's, they do, and they be over exaggerating. Like, <laughs> it's for men. Like, it's for men. You don't sound like that. It's for men. <laughs> Shut like, your stupid ass up. I hate it. I hate it so much. In fact, I prefer men porn. What do you prefer? What do you prefer? We're not talking about that on here. No, go ahead and say it. What you prefer? <laughs> what kind of porn you like? <laughs> say it. I like my porn. Tell me. <laughs> My porn. Say it. You I like say it. I like the porn with you and your exes. I watched that. <laughs> Y'all, <laughs> this woman when we first got together. Okay, we've been we we've been together now for twelve years. We've been married for ten. I told her she could quit her job after dating for like what four or five months. It doesn't matter. She so she would sit home, <laughs> waiting. The girls would be in school, and I would be at work. I was working for the bank. This girl was. We was just together now. She would go through my fucking laptops, <laughs> go through all my folders where I would film ex escapades with my ex girlfriends. It was rather interesting. And come I'm, to find out, years later, <laughs> she was watching them every day. I really was. You're a weirdo, bro. I'm not a weirdo. I couldn't see her. I only saw you and saw what she was doing. Who gets you. off with like, another woman having sexual escapades with the woman you're with? Who gets off on that? Well, think about it. It's no different than you getting off if we had a threesome and you see another woman doing stuff to me, you get turned on. That's never happened for a reason. That is all <laughs> hypothetical. <laughs> you are working in reality. <laughs> you know, it was I don't understand. I could never sit there and stomach. I would throw up. I could never sit I there and stomach. I could never watch you have sex or be pleased by anyone else. The fact that you sat there and watched that shit over and over, I'm still baffled. It was interesting. I've ne I've never filmed myself having sex, so I thought it was like, oh, she has self videos of herself. Hmm. Let's press play. See what this is doing. You you totally like crossed the boundaries. No one told you to go through my laptop folders. <laughs> it is what it is. I I can't get over the fact that you liked it. It's weird. What kind of porn do you like? I like all kinds of porn. Mm -mm. There's one particular one. I'm going <laughs> to fucking say it if you don't. <laughs> I like Ebony. <laughs> Ebony doing what? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, say it. I like. Come on, nigga. What kind of porn do you like? I like creamy squirt porn. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you do. Yes, I do. So yes. that was a reason why I liked watching that. Oh! <laughs> and yeah, people because I really want to say it again. It's me. In my mind, it's not. <laughs> so I said specifically, I like it when it's creamy. P is not creamy. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're gross. I've never gotten into that. You I've don't never been into it. In fact, <laughs> I have a squirt story. If you want to hear it. What is? So there was one time my ex-husband and I, my children's father, he knew I was gay from before we even got married. Mm. And 
he kind of inspired me to try women. Uh, before him, it was always a fantasy, and he knew that. So one day, this was years, 20, over 20 years ago, guys. Mm. And so I was trying to get into heaven. Fuck you. Uh, and I was 18. So we fucking was talking one day, and he was like, I think this girl like you, blah, 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 blah. I think y'all should fuck. I found this girl on, like, one of these social media sites. I don't know what it was back then. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it was MySpace, fucking... We could have been. What was the lesbian one, though? I wasn't on that. I hold was... on, hold on, hold on. Damn, what was the lesbian fucking... Uh... Nah, because niggas need to know. Niggas need to know. I want to know. Shut up. I want to know what turns you on. Yeah. So I can be a... Damn it. Come on, man. Y'all know what it is. Downlink? Da no. Bitch, Downlink. You got it. What the fuck you know about Downlink? I just remember you saying that at some point. I went on it. I think it, it was Downlink. Y'all correct me if it was. It was Downlink. One of them, one of them lesbian ones where I was, just, I was new. Mm -hmm. This was like 2006, seven. Um, Yeah, so she hit me up and we found a girl. I went out with her. We, I don't remember what was happening. We came home and we was all doing it. And it was my first one of my first experiences with a woman and she squirted on my face while she was riding my face. Mm -hmm. And she warned me. And you know, I got issues. And so with fluids and hold on. And I pushed her and I was like, hey, bitch, you just piss on me? What the fuck? Mm -hmm. And she was like, no, no, I only do that with women and I, I squirted. Da, 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 da. And so the next day I was like, hey, bruh, remember what you did yesterday? Like, is that real? She was like, yes. Yeah. So she was like, you can, you can learn it yourself. You can do it yourself. And I was like, well, how? So she was like, you got to get in the bathtub. And she was like, you you touch yourself and you get in the bathtub and you you don't stop until you're there. And you, and you, and you, and you, you penetrate yourself until you're there. <sighs> Sounds like you're rubbing yourself until you're raw. It took a few minutes. It took a few minutes, bro. It took about an hour and a half. But I actually did it. You was determined. I really want... I'm a researcher. You are. You I are. I wanted to know if this whole pissed on me. <laughs> <laughs> and I did my research and come to find out, you know, there's some women out there who, 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 who they're... Uh, what is it called? Forgive me. I'm not going to remember the exact term, but it's this, like... I'm going to say balloon. Mm -hmm. That's a G spot that's inside, and the more you stimulate it clitorally, and is it as well as uh, penetration, and you stop, it swells like a balloon, and then it does release fluid, just like um, a male's penis. And so it is a real thing; it's not all pee. That I know. Yeah. Something else that's that I've been seeing a lot on lesbian TikTok and lesbian Twitter is something that they're calling lesbian. Bed death. What is that? So according to statistics, which I don't trust the white man's statistics, but according to their statistics, lesbians are the top demographic out of queer men, um, I guess non-binary people, and, and cis heterosexual sex that Basically, I guess we become great friends, mm -hmm. become roommates mm -hmm. and friends and sisters, and there's no intimacy and there's no communication and no sex. And it's just, I could not imagine that. I think situations like that only happen when one person in a relationship or maybe both start to lose interest in the relationship. Mm. What do you mean? Like when it's no longer fun or sexual anymore like the defining meaning of why they got together in the first place is like eh, there's other shit out there damn that's like so you're sad. you know what I'm saying you're you're a good friend to have but it's just like oh you just don't really get me there anymore that's fucking sad i think that's so sad I and, and, and also and also i think like sometimes when the transition of it is actually happening i don't think like you said there's no communication around that like hey you know, mm -hmm. I've noticed that we don't touch each other. Like yeah, we used to. yeah. Let's let's explore that. Let's talk about that. And because they don't explore and talk about those things, it just kind of goes down the drain. I agree, and I think the best way to stop that is to talk, bro. Don't be don't be stopping, bro. Don't be don't don't let don't 
Come on, y'all. We got to do better. Lesbian bed death? Come on. That's a whole fucking slogan. Oh, we can't have a slogan. <laughs> yeah, not tight. Like, just, just open your mouth, communicate. And if you feel like, you open know, your I want to. mouth this pussy. Right. Or if you feel like it's just not going to happen and we're just no longer in that space, then let's talk about how we can still be cool, be friends, and let's actually honor each other and allow each other to explore other relationships to receive oh. that from other people. I know that's right. So... I don't understand bed death. I don't understand lesbian bed death because even when... Even if you're not ready for the day. <laughs> Sorry. Even when we were the are at our lowest in the beginning of our relationship, we were in the homeless, homeless shelter. shelter. Still bumping, bruh. Bruh. In them bump beds. We bruh. had twin bunk beds. Shout out to... Genesis House. Genesis House and Hope of the Valley. Uh, 12 years ago, y'all. Yes. We, 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 didn't, we wasn't always here. We, we wasn't. You don't know our story. We was homeless. We was displaced. Now, listen, you can always find a way. You can always find a way to be intimate. You can always find a way to love your partner. Mm. Let them know that even when times are tough, baby, as long as I got you. you I'm, I'm still going to lick you. <laughs> From the rooter to the tutor. Okay. Well, guys, that's the end of the show. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us. For our girl dinner episode. Make sure you guys are keep subscribing, following us on TikTok and the Instagram and yes. all the things. And if you still have uh, questions um, for us, make sure you DM us on The Muses Unsuppressed mm -hmm. on Instagram. And we will be happy to talk about your question or maybe it's a topic discussion that you want to have. I mean, you never know. Absolutely. And thanks for everybody who bought our Fuck You Pay Me shirt and yes. tees and hoodies. <laughs> We have never sold this much merch in 10 years of yes. being an artist. I don't know what it is, but I just want to thank y'all so much. Y'all, times are hard. I know y'all dollars count. Yes. Every little fucking cent counts. So I it appreciate does. you. I we appreciate are, you too. I appreciate y'all for being patient while we're getting your orders out. Like we, she said, we are working as hard yeah, as we can small, to get them out. We're a small out. business. So thank you for supporting this black, queer, small business. Yes. We, we in-house. We don't outsource nothing. So we appreciate you. We, we were big on customer service. We're big on our turnaround time. And, you know, we just appreciate y'all. So fuck you, pay me. Shout out. Equal pay for women. Equal pay for queer people. And we out.